Ramsey, respect him. And I think most people should do his plan. And I have so much respect for him because we did his plan to an extreme for over five years. But I think it set us up in a good situation. I walked into a bank and they saw I was such an extremist, perfect credit, maxed out all these retirements and just were so, so safe You're and pathetic so with my money. Yeah. They would give me anything in the world. So thank you, Dave. Yeah, I think it's good for people to learn discipline and not blow your money. People that I do one-on-one -on -one consultations with that come to my masterminds are people that have followed Dave's plan. Yeah. Those are the people that are set up so extremely perfect, not only from a behavioral standpoint with being disciplined with money, but they're set up to look good for the banks. It just requires you to map out exactly how the banks think and map out exactly what your money can do in other places for you to take action on that. But some people, a lot of people I talk to or that come to these, they're not even, they're not even on a Dave Ramsey track. They're on no track at all. So yeah. I'm going to try to teach them behaviorally to be disciplined with your money and then do this plan instead of Dave Ramsey's. But if I could swig a wand and solve a lot of financial problems, it would be everyone follow Dave, period. That would solve a lot of problems. Yeah, to a certain point. Yeah. And just retire. That is called retiring with dignity. Yeah. That's what and Dave not, calls it. Yeah, and it's not My a bad father way. is going to retire with dignity. Yeah. Worked his whole life away. And he has a lot of money. He saved has and, the Yeah, he has. And will have a good retirement. Yep. And have a fun Saved he saved every penny. He was pretty much what I was. He just saved his whole life and maxed out everything his yeah. whole life. So when the economy tanks or the government does something stupid and it affects the market, that has a direct hit on him. Yeah. Huge hit. But he has enough in there. It'll recover over time. Blah, 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 blah. All that boring crap. When I buy a handful of properties that are worth way more. Yeah. Before Freedom Hustler, guys. Freedom Hustler was born because I was retired and bored out of my cr bored out of my crap. Well, it's pretty much after you sold your solar company. Yeah. That's when it... Okay, wait. You sold it... 2020 2020 during COVID Before. it kind of all started around COVID when we moved to the ranch yep and it's good times that was good um, also our dog was dying as well yeah, so. yeah our dog died anyways um, that was actually the worst that was times the worst of our year life. of our life <laughs> holy cow <laughs> honestly but back to <laughs> back to that's kind of when it started so you did security then you did sold solar. the company I have hundreds of employees that I've trained over the years over throughout the whole country that were still in contact with me that would ask my advice all the time. Ask, 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 ask. And I, they worked for me and I loved them and I still do love them. So I'd give them all this advice. Then I'd be on Snapchat with my close friends growing up and I would just snap boring, retired life stuff. Yeah. 10 a.m. Just woke up. 2 p.m. Going to the gym <laughs> for months, a year of doing that. And then finally I was like, how about instead of just coasting throughout the rest of our lives and enjoying it for ourselves, I just kind of like, the same stuff I'm snapping and the same advice I'm giving to my former employees, why not me just kind of like record it and just put it out there for the world to learn from? Yeah. And that's where Freedom Hustler was born. I know, and I feel like you value, like that brings you so much joy to like answer questions and like help people. Yeah, it's fulfilling. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's fun for you to figure out their situation, yeah. how their money could work for them. And the masterminds, which link in my bio, I don't know how many times I have to say that and then people reach out to me and ask, how do I look it up? It's link in the bio. I say that, I'm starting to say that in every video now. I put a little sticker that says link in the bio and people still ask. Me. So my dream, just so people know, I'm not gonna hide it. We're financially free. The masterminds are the most fulfilling thing because it's a time where all these experts, people that are more successful than me, people that know different industries better than me, people that know how money works differently more than me, we're all in the same room and people from all over the country, about 40 people per mastermind, I'm trying to keep it closer to 20 or 30, but come here and you learn. And you learn things that I had to learn the hard way as I'm explaining the transitions I've been through in my life. You learn it and to see your face connect the dots and see how it applies to you. Because even if I record the whole mastermind, which I'm not going to, it's a very private event, 
You don't know how it applies to you and your exact situation. That's why there is licensed lenders at my house. There is licensed financial advisors at my house. There are big real estate gurus at my house because they will figure out your situation, your exact situation, similar to my one-on-one -on -one consultations, and they will give you a roadmap of exactly in your state, licensed in your state or other states if you want a better return, how it's done. That is fulfilling. I want to do a mastermind. I am building my audience to do a mastermind once per month. Right now, they're once a year and the dates have been released. Side note, link in bio for the 2023 <laughs> event. I'm gonna have a mastermind once a month at my house. And that's all I'm gonna do the rest of my life. Yeah. Until I get bored of it. But <laughs> it's pretty solid. entertaining for now. <laughs> it's very fulfilling to see people's lives change and for them to reach out to me years later. Yeah. Including some of people that I've met with years ago or former employees, where I tell them to buy this house that is crap and cash flowing barely and oh my gosh, I just talked him into taking action and do something and then years later, they're thanking me and saying, holy crap, I'm so glad I listened to you and did something that I thought was such a bad idea. And that's because that's my story when I bought my first real estate and property. In fact, the person I bought it from is going to be at my mastermind. And he's the person that I was picking his brain being like, bro, I don't, this is like, it doesn't pass the 1% rule. Like it's, it's not a good return on investment. It's barely cash flowing. And he said, quote, this will be a good first property for you to learn everything you need to know about tenants, appreciation, blah, 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 blah. On paper, absolute worst deal in the world. What were you, what was your return? 200 bucks? Like month? 300 bucks if everything goes well. Yeah. A $500,000 property. Yeah. With a 70 or more thousand down payment on it. Kind of scary. Now it's worth nearly $400,000 more than I bought it for. And principal paid and I've cash flowed well over six figures on it. So he's going to be here. He's the reason he wouldn't ever say freedom hustler, take action, make moves, blah, blah, blah. Like he's... He's, like, he's actually a licensed financial advisor, so he has to like tiptoe with what he says. I sound a little extreme when I say take action and just do it because that's how I did it. I didn't know what I was doing. But I, I feel like people like to come to you because you're so open and are like, you can do it. Yeah. Because I was scared too. Everyone's scared to make a move. Like to give other people that same fight and that same benefit because it is fulfilling and I got nothing else to do. Except to hang out with me and cut Yeah, which we did for years. We did that for years. Build a family? Yeah. <laughs> we still hang out all day, yeah. every day, and like I rarely, like, we had to like go out of our way to even record this. Like, we had to force ourselves and put but on this clothes. Is, this is so fun. Yeah, it is fun, but I'm saying that's my point of not having anything else to do. Yeah. Well, anyways. Are we done? No, we weren't even, we just barely got into solar. I'm so hungry. Can we eat? Can we eat?